Watch this! Priest? I think I keep uh, the two left-hand cards, but not the, the Noe Trine isn't really that relevant against Priest. Like, it has the same amount of attack as a uh, hero power, so it's just fine. I don't know how this matchup is going to go. Uh, I don't even know what type of Priest it is yet, so I guess I should wait and see. Honestly, I think I would prefer a Reno Priest Gamer, because I think I can uh, apply more pressure and combo out faster. And I think that uh, Divine Favor is a good card. I'm just going to push this early because of that Divine Favor draw. Normally I would have Hero Powered there, but the Divine Favor changes things. Yeah, this looks like a big priest. This just means I need to dodge the statues. Ragnaros is fine even off of Barnes. Statue is my nightmare. Okay. No, it's still... Could be, uh, still could be Reno then. And that actually doesn't matter because uh, we have a shared Murloc pool for the anything. I just need to not get, like, operative. So, honestly, drawing the, uh, drawing the anything is not that bad. I need to not get operative, and I need to dodge the, uh, the Entombs if he's playing a greedier list. But it looks like it might just be, like, a straight combo. Let's get the bag cards out of our deck and into play. Force a response and just keep applying pressure. Yep. I don't think I want to play Vinja in this matchup, uh, at this stage especially. Could just score a kill next turn if there's no clear. Dream? Okay. That's a clear. That's actually a pretty big bummer clear too. Yes, the call's attack sound is actually Tiger Punch. Fantastic. I just noticed that yesterday myself. Yep. Don't really want those cards in my deck. Second anything. I'm gonna hang on to the weapon swing here in case of Reno. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the opponent's deck. I think I'll still hang on to this. This only pulls uh, a blue. This does four damage. Bluegill and a war leader. Not gonna be enough to get there from from the spot, but yeah, Terum is uh, Terum is a reason to hero power, and I think it's a valid reason just because of the. Uh, the fact that we're so close to getting there. Honestly, I might even just have to... No, I, I need full value off of this. I'm just going to have to Consecrate next turn. Oh. Oh, that's a disaster. Okay, so these deal eight now, and then more once I uh, once I play the first. So I can just rip them back to back now. I think, because if there's a Reno, there's no clear. The light has betrayed. Yeah. Uh, this gets us there if, um, if there's no Reno. Opponent has not drawn that many cards halfway through. The end is coming! 
Great Lash. So it should be enough, right? So it's two war leaders and it's two and four. So that's six total minions. They each deal six. Yeah, that's enough. So even though it's more likely that it's probably Odd Warrior, I think I keep the Crawler just because it's so good into uh, Pirate Warrior. None will survive. Well, that's a bummer. Enjoy your foods and stuff, Meowth. And have a good stream if you are in fact streaming later. Just need to apply pressure in the early game, cycle through my deck really hard, and hit the combo ASAP as possible. Okay. Is this worth any quality? Yeah, because my board is just poopy. It could pull a Molten Giant. Or literally the lowest cost card in my deck. Yeah, I could pull that too. Play around um, Ghoul. Muster means I don't have to uh, play the Consec. All right, give me that Molten. Oh, also the lowest cost card in my deck. That remained because rip. All right. Well, at least we've got the divine favor, and at least we got a good outcome from that. Well, called arms is better than divine favor in this current situation. Almost any card is playable with the divine favor, so that's good news. Yeah, go that way. Nice. Call. Ooh, this could get us some giants. Never giants, baby rage. Never giants and never murlocs. I've had one murloc, no, zero murlocs die, and it is uh, two thirds of the way through my deck, so. Hey, I've had one murloc die. That's pretty cool. Hey, there's a molten giant. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that guy. I think I'm going to leave the... Uh, I'm not going to press the button. So that he has worse uh, like brawls and stuff. Got to work on my Death Lord pulls? I know. I'll practice. Jeez. I also got to work on my draw sequencing with the Call to Arms because that's been pretty abysmal too. Um, I'm just going to play this so... Oh, hey, I have a mini bot. Cool. I forgot about that. <laughs> I thought I was out of uh, out of guys. Probably need full value from this anything, though, so I might just have to consec next turn. Unless I draw another uh, anything off the top. Yeah, this has to be a consec. Hmm. Nope. This has to be and anything can happen.
I still don't think we get there though. 34. We could get double uh, Murkai. Double Murkai might be enough. Well, if we don't score the kill, we lose. So, please die. Whew. Whew, we didn't even need the double merc guy. Oh, that was close. Okay, this is not a mirror. I don't think I want the war leader though. I don't even know if I want this Annoyatron. It doesn't really do much. I think there are better cards that I could get. I'd rather pull that from a um, call to arms. We have turned our curse into our strength. Ooh, ooh, here's a eye roll for us. Not learning from your mistakes is a mistake. Good call. I did draw anything by turn 9, though. Yeah, oh my god. But, I mean, we cycled a lot of cards into our deck, and we drew it pretty early, so it made it easier to set up that type of play. No taunt, please. Oh. Okay, well, he's making the trade. I take back everything I said about this not being necessary. Good luck with this, buddy. Opponent needs Devolve into Doomsayer. He didn't have it. <laughs> oh, man, we are so good. <laughs>